Hello gamers, Suro here. Welcome back to the channel. Now today we just got a brand new update for Core Keeper, but it is on a different branch of the game. So we are going to have an experimental branch within a Core Keeper that we can actually test out some new things before they bring it over to the main game. Now I'm sure a lot of you have been a little confused as to what's going on and how to actually sort this out. So in this guide I'm going to quickly show you how you can actually switch over to the new experimental branch. And then how you can transfer your worlds and your character saves over onto that new branch. Because if you've already tried to switch it over to the experimental branch. Chances are you loaded in, your world is gone, your character is gone so you're like freaking out. But I hope to solve that issue for you today. Because um, the experimental branch is what it, it sounds like. It's on its own little like uh, branch. So you are not going to have access to all those things. But we do have a workaround to make this work. Now please keep in mind that this experimental branch will come with quite a few bugs and stuff like that. So make sure you back up your save before you do any of this. And I'm actually going to show you how to back up your save. Just in case if an issue does arise, you have that backup for you. I've already done this and played for a while. I haven't ran into any issues with it yet. So I think we'll be okay. So the first thing you're going to want to do is open up your Steam. Now over here on the left at your Core Keeper, you're going to want to right click on it. Go down to Properties. Once you're here, you're going to want to go down to Betas. And then click on this right here. You're going to have... You might have one or two things, but you want to click on the experimental testing a new network backend. This is the one you want to make sure you click on. So click experimental. It'll do its update and then you can back out. So after that happens, you'll see experimental right here. If you did it correctly, you are now on at the experimental version of the game. But like I said, if you load in, you're not going to have access to anything uh, when it comes to characters and worlds and stuff. So what you need to do next is go down here to your search bar. Go to this PC. You're going to have your different devices, your hard drives. We're going to click on the C drive. And then you're going to go down to users. And then mine is right here. Now what you're looking for is app data. Um, you might not have that like mine isn't showing here. But that's okay. You can go up here to the search bar. And then we're just going to put this little backslash there. And we're going to look for a local low. So we have app data, local low right there. And this is going to bring us to our games. We got Pugstorm right here. Click on it. There we go. We have Core Keeper. So C Drive, User, My User, App Data, Local Low, and Pugstorm. So now we are in the Core Keeper folder. This is where you need to pay uh, really close attention. So when you open up, you're going to see experiment, experimental. If you have already switched over to experimental, it's going to put this uh, file in there for you. And then you have Steam down here. So we're going to click on Steam. This folder right here with these numbers, that's going to be the one you've been playing on for however long you've owned the game. This is the original one, the one that is not the experimental build. If we click on it, it's got all of your backups, your saves, your world info and everything. Luckily, you do not have to um, add all of this stuff over there. So what you want to do is take that folder, right click on it, hit copy. And then over here, paste on your desktop, you want to, uh, well, just hit paste right there. So then I have my core keeper backup right here. I labeled it here. You can place it somewhere else for now. I'm just going to keep it on here. So now that we have that, you and then you have this copy, we can head over to experimental and then hit steam again. And then this is where you want to paste the file. But before you do that, you're already going to have this number here. And that is the just the basic files that the game um, came up with whenever it switched over to the experimental version. You just want to click on this and then put it on whatever number it is, dot old. That way, whenever the game does load up, it knows the, this is the old file. And it's going to go straight to the one that we're pasting into there. This one, of course, is the one that has our worlds and all that stuff. So once you have those in there, make sure you do not delete the numbers that are already in here. This folder, do not delete it before or even at all because it could mess it up later on. Or if this gets corrupted, you have something to fall back on. So just put dot old and then paste the folder in here. And uh, that's pretty much it, guys. That's how you uh, make a backup copy for your save. That's how you find this location. Of course, your computer might be slightly different. But ultimately, this is what you're looking for right here. 
And um, yeah, just be careful. Make sure you don't mess with anything else except for the things I showed you here. I really hope this video was helpful. I try to make it really short and clear for you. If you have any more questions, let me know in the uh, comment section. I'll try to help you out with that. And if you could help me by dropping a like and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, I would really appreciate it. Anyways, I hope you guys have a great day and I will see you in the next video.